So, uh, you know, once again, it's always a once again with this, um, with these type of clowns on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Your boy D Money DMG back to expose more frauds again. You know, it just it just seemed like it never stops, you feel me? So your boy Charleston White, once again. Just because I'm a West Coast nigga, you feel what I'm saying? West Coast, you know what I'm saying? California. Born and raised, you feel me? Born and raised in California. Niggas think that we not connected with the South, you feel me? But I got people in Alabama. I got people in Texas. I got family. Like, let me say, I got family down South. And um, in my last video, I said, niggas had a drop on this nigga, Charleston White. Niggas already know, like, the fucking mannerisms of a crackhead, Charleston White. You used to do crack back in the days, bro. My people's put me up on game about it, right? And, you know, some people, but not all people, will mess with men, women, trannies, homosexuality, when they're high off of drugs, okay? I'm not saying this is everyone that does, you know, crack or any drugs and stuff like that mess with, you know, tran transsexuals and they dibble and dabble in homosexuality. That's not everybody, okay? Let me get that very clear. But this nigga Charleston J. White, okay? My people's in Texas, my family member in Texas, already told me that this nigga was messing with trannies. You can see it all in everything that this nigga do from the hypocrisy to um disrespecting people with his whole mannerisms and everything or whatever this nigga was an ex-drug addict so while he's sitting up talking about <laughs> don't don't pray for you know dmx and 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 dope fiends and this and that and blah 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 da, 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 you know what i mean this is the characteristics of an ex an ex-drug addict okay this is what it is so you guys can believe what I'm saying or not. I'm tapped in with my peoples down south. Okay. This nigga Charleston J. White, you know, was a fucking ex crackhead. Okay. The nigga either still mess with the shit to this day, but I, I, I don't know. He may be sober and all of this shit, but the nigga is a ex crackhead. I know motherfuckers that used to serve him specifically. My peoples down south told me specifically who used to serve him. I'm not going to say no names and all that shit because I ain't rolling with no fucking feds like this nigga weird ass, you know, past or even now where he always talk about, oh, yeah, you know, niggas that's doing this in the hood, you know, we going to wrap them out and da, da, da. Fuck all of that. I ain't giving no names up. I ain't working with no motherfucking police or none of that shit like that bitch ass niggas doing. So at the end of the day, Charleston J. White, while you sitting up talking about DMX and his struggle that he's been going through for fucking out of 20, 25, 30 years, however, 
you're guilty of some shit, bro. This is the reason why this shit is. Re you made about two or three, four videos speaking on DMX and how, you know, fuck what DMX is going through. I ain't praying for him. No one else should pray for him. He's a drug addict. He should, you know, deal with whatever comes with him, you know, with the circumstances of being a drug addict. You know, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about what he's going through. Like, you know, because at the end of the day, you realize the type of shit that you were going through when you were on crack back in the days and you was a fucking user, how nobody gave a fuck about you. This is the reason why you're so passionate about DMX's situation. Okay. So look, y'all. Don't be fooled by this nigga, Charleston J. White. This nigga is a plant by the fucking FBI. He's an agent, and this nigga is a fucking troll. Please, y'all, wake the fuck up. The nigga Charleston White is a plant. Talking about, yeah, man, when I was younger, me and my people, you know, we shot a white man and blah, blah, blah. And, and I passed the pistol and all of that. You, you nigga, fuck all that shit that you was talking about. You was a fucking dropout. You were claiming to be from rolling 60s or you're supposed to be from neighborhood and all of this shit when you was younger. And then when you turn a certain age, you know, the person that, you know, y'all allegedly killed because you didn't kill nothing. It was, you know, you and your homeboys and all of this shit and your homeboy killed, you know, a white man and all of that. And you were proud about all of that bullshit. And then when it's all said and done, you know, you hopping on Vlad TV and giving praise to white men. Look, bro, you're a walking contradiction. So nevertheless, to wrap this video up, y'all, the nigga Charleston J. White, man, the nigga's a fraud. This nigga is a fucking fraud, bro. And, and when it's all said and done, how can y'all keep following this dude? How? To each his own. People may have given their life to God. Um, people may have, you know, came to certain you know, senses in their life and stuff. And they, you know, they transform, transform their lives to walk a different path. But all I know is what my people said to me and they hit me up like, yo, D man, hey man, like you hear about this nigga, Charleston J. White, yo, cuz oh, I see that you making videos about him, but this nigga was a, years ago. This nigga was a motherfucking crackhead and motherfuckers was selling dope to this nigga. Okay. And this nigga was picking up, you know, transgenders and, and, you know, the nigga, you know, was out here on a whole nother tip. And he found a way to be able to troll like Takashi 6 9 and all these other people that's out here, you know what I'm saying, doing what they do. And I'm like, damn, really? Because I was rocking with the nigga. I'm telling my people on the phone like, damn, I was rocking with the nigga when he was on Say Cheese and he was saying certain things about, you know, rappers in the industry and this and that. But then after a while, once he started disrespecting neighborhood Nip, rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. And when he starts saying Nipsey Hustle, <laughs> yeah, nigga, there's this thing, you know, Nipsey Hustle, he's a light skinned nigga, and light skinned niggas ain't never did this and never did that. Y'all can go, you know, in my video comments, set, uh, in my uh, video uh, listings and shit, and check out how this nigga was disrespecting Nipsey Hustle, talking about Nipsey Hustle wasn't a real nigga because he was a light skinned nigga and all kind of other bullshit. So nevertheless, though, when it's all said and done, this nigga, Charleston J. White, bro, the nigga's a fucking clown, bro, and he's a plant. So please, y'all, please, man. Don't get caught up with the, the character and all of this shit that this nigga talk about. At the end of the day, this nigga is a fucking weirdo, bro, and he's a crackhead. Well, he was a crackhead, and he might still be doing crack. Who knows? Just like nigga said about DMX, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was a crackhead, you know, years and years ago, and he uh, died over 
uh, you know, a drug overdose and all that shit, nigga, that's probably a fucking lie. DMX probably didn't even die over no motherfucking drug overdose or crack and all of that shit or whatever. Because his peoples and his family is saying that the nigga took fucking the damn... I'm not going to say the word because, you know, my video may get flagged and all this shit. But, you know, that stuff that they're, you know, with the pandemic and all that shit, that that new shit that, you know, millions of people is getting in America. He got shot with that and he took that, you know, as you know, and all of a sudden, this, you know, he dies and shit like that. But no one's saying like, you know, he died from a specific drug and all of this shit or whatever. So. That's just the narrative that they always push on celebrities. You know, there was a dope fiend thousands of years ago, and yeah, they just died over a, you know, a drug overdose and all that shit. Nah, the shit is, 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 is deeper than that, bro. It's deeper than that. So anyways, Charleston J. White, bro, you're a fucking clown, bro. And on your videos that you just posted about DMX got way more thumbs down than thumbs up. Because motherfuckers are already starting to see through, you know, your bullshit. And they're starting to sift through all of that dumb shit that you will be talking about and all of this trolling shit. And niggas ain't fucking with it, bro. So, cut the bullshit when it's all said and done, bro. Till next time. Your boy D-Money DMG. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you fucking with me, fucking with the content that I'm saying. And um, that's what it is. Holla.